Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's another great day to bill search. Let's talk about some $2 bills that sold for quite a bit of money in an auction about two weeks ago. So I have a ton of people ask me about the price of $2 bills, sequential notes in general, and uh, just general prices about currency that I talk about in my videos, which are always great questions. What do these things sell for? A lot of people are like, well, what's the point in me collecting money if I hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it, and then when I go to sell it, I really just get nothing out of it? Then why didn't I not just spend the money at the gas station or getting fast food or something? That's a great logic to it, uh, if that were the case. But for example, this pack of 25 sequential Series 1976 $2 bills out of Chicago sold for quite a bit of money, and there's nothing really special to them other than the fact that they're crisp and there's 25 of them in order. A lot of you have sent me pictures, emails with pictures, Facebook messages, various things like that where you go, hey, I found these $51 bills in order from the bank and they're crisp and they're awesome. And I think they are too, but taking into consideration that these are $2 notes from 1976, as opposed to a modern day $1 note, uh, that definitely adds to the value of them. But before we go forward, you might be new to the whole hobby of collecting money or just to the terminology of bills in general. So what are sequential notes? Sequential notes are ones that share serial numbers in order. So these 25 sequential series 1976 $2 notes are 25 banknotes in order as far as their serial numbers. So the top one here starts with 4365675 and goes all the way through the next 25 notes. Now normally I wouldn't say that being a sequential set of notes would add much value to anything, that's not really the case here with these bicentennial 1976 $2 bills. People really like $2 bills. They're highly collectible in general, especially when they're in really, really good condition, like these ungraded but crisp $2 bills featured here. The value of these things, of course, face value, would be $50, 25 of them times 2. But in this case, this stack of 25 sequential series 1976 $2 bills sold for over $150. That's a really awesome triple up on the face value of these notes simply due to them being in order. Now having the original strap on them as well does help that, that uh, paper strap that runs around the notes if you don't know what a strap is. And that's what holds the notes together when you get them from the bank. 1976 $2 bills are also just highly collectible by themselves, as many people really enjoy the Bicentennial twos and the depiction of John Trumbull's painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence that's on the reverse of these notes. So now that you've seen this video, you might see that there is actually some pretty good value to some sequential notes, and you may be able to squeak some value out of other more modern notes. I mean, of course, $2 bills are modern, but ones with a newer series date, uh, if they are sequential, but these ones being quite a bit older, close to 50 years old, really aids in that value. The $2 denomination really aids in the value. The history of the notes really aids in the value. Uh, and having that original strap really helps out as well. So again, these sold for over $150, which is really wonderful uh, in comparison to the face value of 50 bucks for this stack. So I think that's really, really awesome and puts a good real world value on sequential notes. So let me know what you think about these $2 1976 notes that sold for 150 some odd dollars. Uh, let me know if you collect $2 bills or what you think about them. Some people think they're lucky. Some people think they're unlucky. Some people think they're not even made anymore. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you there and I'll see you in the next video.